everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a disruptor in the accounting industry. I am disrupting what it means to be an accountant, what it feels like to have an accountant, and showing you the behind the scenes of what running an accountancy practice looks like. I create long and short form content across YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, and so I would absolutely love to see you there where I share the behind the scenes content of what it's like to scale a business in your 20s. You can use the links in the description of this video to find me everywhere that you consume content. My content is the content that I desperately needed at different points in my journey so far. And so this is very much for me by you. So if you've got any questions or content requests, you can pop them in the comments of this video or pop me a DM and that will be driving the content that I bring to you next. Today, we have got a very special video because one of our employees will be taking you through a day in her life. As lots of you might know from following me on social media, recently we have scaled to a team of 15 and we've got lots more exciting job offers in the pipeline. So as an employer, it is so amazing and so interesting to see how different members of our team work best, enjoy working, whether that means working in the office, remotely, earlier in the morning or being a night owl. This video is also a really special one because it is being sponsored by the CPAA. CPAA is a not-for-profit professional membership organisation focused on practising accountants in the UK. They provide tools to help you build a successful practice, ranging from their member insurance scheme to a comprehensive programme of professional CPD webinars and seminars. All of this is included within their membership fee. They also work to represent in the interests of accountancy practitioners, actively engaging with HMRC and Treasury on issues affecting our profession. To find out more about the CPAA and to make an application for membership, you can visit their website using the link in the description to this video. So today's day in the life, you are going to be spending the day with Carol. Carol is the manager of our business services team. Now I'm going to let her tell you a little bit more about herself and her day to day work. So enjoy. Thank you. So that's my doggy. He's gone off into daycare for the day. Um, they love it here. So. Uh, and they always come back really exhausted so I can get a good night's sleep later. So I am now going to leave the doggy daycare and then do, I think it's about an hour, to work where the office is because um, this is my day in the office. Hi, I'm Carol, the business services manager at Strivex. I worked, I've worked here since September uh, 2022. Before I worked at Strivex, I ran my own uh, bookkeeping practice and I also worked for a large print company. So for like people that want to become a manager, did you aim to become a manager? Did you do any specific sort of training? Did you just work your way up? <laughs> I've uh, been bookkeeping my pretty much my whole life. I started being, um, a bookkeeper for my parents business when I was age 14 in the summer holidays and that's when I started it was on old paper ledges <laughs> before computers <laughs> so that's where I started but you don't have to start there I, I took a break from doing finance work and became a nail technician um, to manage around my children having uh, three children um, so that fitted in quite well in it I've got a creative side so um, when they were a little bit older I decided to go back into bookkeeping and I just looked for jobs that <clears throat> could facilitate that, the experience, get that back on my CV. Then, so yeah, I um, in, when I got back into the finance industry um, and accountancy industry, I looked for roles that could facilitate some more experience uh, working for other people. From there, I was encouraged by an accountant to set up my own practice um, as a bookkeeper. Uh, once I did that, I started the AAT level two and worked my way up, and it just it just kind of developed from there. Yeah, the the day that I arrived at Strivex on the first of September was the day I actually got my le uh, level four um, the final uh, results. Um, was very relieved to find out on the way here that I'd actually passed, so it became. Um, level 4 qualified MAAT 
I've got AAT QB and MAAT. <clears throat> Some coffee or... No, decaf. Okay, guys, so I thought I would, as well as the video, just walk and talk you through a day in Carol's life. So, Carol is the manager of our business services team. And so our business services team is made up of Carol and then she manages three team members. So there's Carol, who's the business services manager, and then we've got three full-time accountants in her team. James, do you drink coffee? No. Why? So on a day-to-day -day basis, she will be meeting with the team, whether that's in person or remotely, because we have fully hybrid working options available. So she'll be meeting with the team, either face-to-face -face or remotely, and running through their task list for the day, any upcoming deadlines that they've got, and any questions that they've got that they need answered in order to be able to complete the work. So you can see here that she's catching up with James. Dilapidations. What? Is that where? Dilapidation. Yeah. Or depreciation? No, the first one. Say it again. Dilapidation. What even is that word? It's um, buildings, isn't it? Isn't it dilapidations? Building kind of? Dilapidation is a crawl. Does he mean depreciation? No, dilapidation is a crawl. The wrong way around. Once she's got caught up with the team, she'll then start working on any project work that she's got going on. So Carol does lots of our company incorporations, tax registrations, VAT and PAYE registrations as well. Have a nice day. day. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Carol gets really involved in the very exciting milestones of our clients' businesses. And then within the team, Carol will be doing some of the work herself, and then she'll also be working with the team in order to get multiple deadlines met at different points in the month. Yes, you? Thanks, bye. Yes, bye. So, okay. Yep. So, you understand the he's like wanting these queries tied off. It's, it's really, it's really important. Yeah, okay. Done. Um, yeah. All right. Um, shall I finish? <laughs> I'm going through the hot doc, all the stuff they put, and then, yeah. So we are just doing an ad hoc service where we're making sure the bank balances, the opening balances match the bank statement and the closing balances match to make sure that all the bank data is correct. Do I like that I get to work on? We have lots of different clients. I, I, like, I love the variety in this job, that's why, um, that's why I enjoy it so much. Because I think if I was doing the same thing day in, day out, I may get a little bit bored. I hate yeah, using that word, but yeah, yeah. I, li I like variety. I like the challenge, and I like to learn. 
continuously on a job and having to research, um, you know, because there's no way that you can know everything. So the fact that um, I can be open about that and uh, just go off and do some research and learn. So, Carol works with the team to get company secretarial work done, so that's company incorporations, that's tax registrations and confirmation statements. The team do bookkeeping, which is keeping people's accounts up to date on software like Xero, QuickBooks and Sage. She also does VAT returns, she'll work with people to get their deadlines met, they'll be answering any queries that the team have got for her. So, um, I have checked this client's opening balance, bank balance and closing bank balance. The opening one matched closing one doesn't, which means I've now got to go through and find out uh, where the differences are by doing a manual bank reconciliation, which is comparing the, the data that is in uh, the accounting software against their bank statement. So that, this could take some time, so I'm gonna head into that. <laughs> She'll then also be doing management accounts and reporting internally and to our clients. And then the team also help all of our clients get their payroll submitted on time. This team actually work with most of our 710 clients. And so you can probably see there that with payroll, the bookkeeping, the VAT and the management accounts, there's a lot of different deadlines to be managing. And so Carol's job is vital to making sure that all of our team and our clients' deadlines are met, but not just met, that we're sort of overachieving maximizing every single touch point and adding value to clients at every opportunity. So we're now having a brain exploding emoji really? session uh, which we have every month. They are uh, sessions to improve our knowledge so that we can provide a better service to our clients. My name is Lucy, I don't know if you know that. Um, I'm Lucy Wheeler, uh, thank you so much for inviting me to be chatting with you today. Um, I'm going to chat to you about legal. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see what you're expecting. Well, so yeah we've finished our brain emoji exploding session. We then, James and I, had a meeting with an internal team member and over a year and accounts. And now I'm going to complete this bank reconciliation and as I'm having to go through line by line on each transaction to find out where the difference is and it's for a whole year so it's taking quite a while to find the differences. Um, but that's important because we need to make sure everything's accurate.